I've had this router table for over a year now and I store all my bits and handles and whatever else in these little drawers over here. On these two, I don't have any drawer pulls and it's been really hard to use them. I haven't really wanted to just because it's a hassle trying to get them open and closed and dust gets in them because I don't want to close them. So I finally went ahead and wanted to make some drawer pulls for them. Why well, go to the store when I can make them myself on my forge? This is a great project that even woodworkers can do because they're small. You don't have to have anything big. You can use like a coffee can forge to make these. And right here are the two uh, drawer pulls that I made. This is the first one. Not really fancy at all. I wanted just to get the technique down and figure out how to get the ends made and then draw out the bar. This one I wanted a little bit fancier to see if I could do a little bit better work for my second one. And if you can tell, right here I've made it with some leaves. So I didn't know exactly where I wanted to put these screws, so I just put them right there. I'm sure there's a better spot for them. But here's a close-up of the first one I ever did. You can see I did a hot cut right here. I could have filed it down, but I didn't want to spend the extra time doing it because it was going right here on this router table. So I didn't really care. Okay, so we're going to begin by just taking your bar and creating two different shoulders. One on one side and rotate your bar 90 degrees and do the exact same thing creating a shoulder. After that, uh, use the near side part of your anvil and create another little section with using your sh or making your shoulders. Now that I've gotten the bar all cut, I'm going to go ahead and create two points, one on each end, and this is going to be the start of forging out the leaf. And take a four pound hammer and just give it one or two good whacks to start flattening out on the leaf. On the leaf. Once you do that, you use the cross peen part of your hammer and just start forming out the size of the leaf, trying to make it a little bit more of a teardrop type of shape. And I'm just going to keep on forming it a little bit more until I get whatever kind of shape I want. You can take that cross peen and really work it around in different directions to push the metal where you want it to go. After this, you kind of want to go ahead and start messing with your the handle part. And if you want it square, you want to make sure that it's all nice and squared. If you want it round, go ahead and do the four corners, then your eight corners, then your 16 corners, and then finally just kind of round it off. And start making the actual curved part of the handle. You want to make sure that you get it really, really hot to do this. I did it on my first try, so I had to go back and take a second heat. After the second heat, it worked perfect and I got that nice curve. Then you want to go ahead and flip your handle upside down and put it at an angle to start taking your the both the ends and folding them backwards so that it creates the mounting surface for whatever you're going to be placing these on. After you do this, it's all about getting the two ends nice and parallel by just laying them on a flat surface and you can tap here, tap there, a little here and there and eventually you'll get them nice and flat to where they will be able to be mounted and not have any gaps on the back. Well guys, that was a really, really fun project. Uh, I plan on doing two more for the other side and then I've got some hardware in the house that I want to go ahead and get uh, some drawer pulls mounted for. So, I mean, there's going to be lots and lots of practice I've got ahead of me. So, hopefully by the last one, I, what I want to finish in the house, I will have it down perfect. But, like I said, you can take all sorts of designs with this. Either do twists in there, hooks, leaves. Uh, I mean, there's tons of different things that you could do with this 
Don't limit your imagination with it. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. I enjoy each and every like and it helps spread out my videos throughout the internet. If you don't hit the like button, go ahead and hit that share button. Share it on all the social networks, Google, Twitter, Facebook, different things like that. If this is your first time stopping by, I really appreciate you coming by and just seeing what I'm doing. Uh, check out all my other videos. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. I do both woodworking and blacksmithing videos. And uh, I will see you guys on the next video.